Most of the time, when your team has a new need, an existing SharePoint site can be modified with a new library or list app to meet that need. However, there are times when it makes more sense to create a new site. New SharePoint sites can be created within an existing site where they're referred to as subsites. Since new sites have their own separate settings that need to be managed, it's important to create new sites only when content needs to have different permissions than the main site, such as more private or more public access, or when content needs to be separated from the main site, such as for unique projects or teams. With this in mind, let's create a new site. From the Settings menu, we'd start by choosing Site Contents. On the Site Contents page, scroll down to the Subsite section. Then find New Subsite. Type a title and description for the new site. In the Website Address section, enter the site name without spaces. SharePoint comes with out-of-the-box collaboration site templates that are ready to go for specific purposes, such as blogs, project management, and community discussion forums. For more complex sites, there are enterprise templates for document management and other purposes. For most general purposes, you'll find the flexible and powerful Team Site template works best. By default, new sites are set to inherit the permissions of their parent, but you can choose Use Unique Permissions to create a site that's restricted to a specific group of people. There are also several settings related to the navigation of the new site. Here, you can choose to have the new site automatically linked on the parent site's side quick launch or on the parent site's top navigation. If the parent site has top navigation that visitors use to get around, you can choose Yes here to inherit this and display it on the new site. Now we're ready to create. Since we've used unique permissions for the new site, we're prompted to give our team members access. Just to enter the team member names. Use the Check Names button and you're good to go. If you're not sure of a spelling, the Directory button comes in handy to look up names. With the site permission set, we'll click OK and the home page of the new site appears. Back on the parent site, there's the link to the new site in the navigation. By creating new sites, you can give different teams a place to collaborate or provide a separate space for information that needs unique permissions from your main site.